Uh, hi everyone and uh, welcome uh, to this new series of uh, calculations of three phase uh, circuits. Uh, so in this series we will start with how to handle a three phase circuit when you have Y or delta connections. Okay, and then we will move from that how to handle the power the power calculations. And in this uh, first uh, question, we will be uh, dealing with a Y delta. So the source is connected as Y and the load is connected as delta. And in between there will be some uh, some impedance of the of the line. So before we start the question, let's understand the strategy. This is very, very important. When we have a clear strategy, how to approach the problem, that will make it much easier for us. So I try to come up with one strategy, regardless of the connection in the source or in the load, you just follow this, this strategy. So the first thing you do, you try to make sure that the source and the load are Y connections. If they are not, then you need to change from the delta to the Y connection. So if there is a source, you change it from uh, delta to Y. If there is a load, you change it from delta to Y. And we will see in the coming examples how we will be able to, to do that. Now, once you have a Y, Y connection, then you can work in a single phase. And we'll see how we'll do that in the coming examples that once the connection is uh, Y, Y connection, there is a common neutral. So we will just extract one phase and work on that phase. And that makes the problem much easier because we know we are more comfortable to deal with single phase circuit than dealing with a three phase a three phase circuit. Now, once I am done, once I found everything I want in the circuit, I want to go back and f and try to find those quantities, but in the three phase circuit. So for Y connection, if I, I if the load or the source were Y connections, okay, then the phase current and the line current will be exactly the same. So the current that you found in the phase is the same as the line current. However, the line to line voltage will equal to the three, three root times the phase voltage and you add 30 degree to the, to the phase angle. If the load or the, uh, or the source, they, they, they were uh, uh, connected in delta okay so the line to line voltage is the same as the phase voltage and the line current is equal to root 3 times the phase current but here now you subtract 30 30 degree now this is only for to find the quantities the line quantities for the current the, the line to line quantities for the voltage for a single phase now to find the other phases you just add plus minus 120 degree phase uh, phase shift. So let's start with this example. Okay, so in this example, we have a balanced three phase, uh, Y uh, delta. So the source is Y or the source is Y connected and the load is delta. And the source voltage is voltage VAN. A and between phase A and the neutral. So here you are giving the phase voltage. A magnitude is 120 and an angle of 40, RMS. The line and the load impedances are 0.5 plus J.4. So the line impedance is 0.5 plus J.4. And the load impedance is 24 J18. Find the delta currents in the load so we want to find the delta current. so what i will do here first i will draw the circuit i will call it the row circuit the original circuit in its format so it is y delta so the source is y connected so this is the source three phase so this is phase a this is phase B, this is phase C, and this is the neutral. Okay, so this is the three phase. 
Now we will have here a line impedance, and this is actually represent the impedance of the overhead line and the cables. And basically for short line, this is uh, the right uh, representation or the right model. So this is 0.5 plus J 0.4. And because we work on balance system, so everything will be exactly the same. Plus J 0.4, 0.5 plus J 0.4. Now the load is delta. Because here it says Y delta. So the load is delta. And I will have the same A, B, and C. So the A will be connected to the A. The B will be connected to the to the B. And the C is connected to the C. And this impedance is 24 plus J18. Now what the question asks us, find the delta current. So I want to find I, A, B. I, B, C, and I, C, A. So that's what I want to find. So how to deal with this question? As I said, the first thing, I need to convert this delta into Y connection. And how we can do that? How we can convert the, uh, the Y into, uh, the delta into Y? By just dividing by three. So for delta Y, connection for the load conversion you divide by three so your z y is equal to your z delta divide by three so here we have a 24 plus j 18 divide by three which is equal to eight plus j six so basically what i will do here i will convert this into into y and this as if doesn't exist anymore. So I will have here Y, Y connection. And then I will isolate one phase. This phase, I will isolate it as a single phase. This is the common neutral point come here. And this would be my phase. So my circuit now is equal to this. V, A, N. The line impedance, which is 0.5 plus J 0.4. And the load, which is now converted, 8 plus J 6. So this is point A. This is capital A. And that's it. Now, I need to find the currents in this circuit, which is way easier now van is given to us so this current i will call it i a a which is the same as this current i a a this current is exactly the same as this current now i a a is very straightforward is equal to the voltage van divided by z of the line plus z of the load very simple ohms law so VAN is 120 angle of 40. This voltage, VAN, this is the N, this voltage is 120 angle 40. It's given to us. Divided by the summation of this and this. So 8 plus 0.5, so this is 0.5 plus J 0.4 plus the converted impedance, not the original one, which is 8 plus J6. So from this, your I A A is equal to 120 angle of 40 divided by 8.5 plus J6.4. And from this, do the calculations, you will find this is equal to 11.28 angle of 3.02 amps. Okay, so we found the current that is in the line. Now I need to find the phase current. Now the phase current, which is IAB, now this is a delta connection. So now I need to do the conversion as simple as that. 
And we mentioned here in the previous uh, part that your delta for the delta connections that your I line is equal to root three I phase angle of minus 30. Okay, so basically your uh, if I want to find I phase in the delta equal to I line divided by root three and you add you add 30. Okay, so basically here, very straightforward, your IA will be used to find your IAB. So your IAB equal to your IA, which is 11.28 angle of 3.02 divided by root 3, and you add 30. And this is equal to 6.51 angle of 33.02. So we found IAB. Now I want to find IBC and ICA. Very straightforward. Minus 120 plus 120. Okay. So from this, your IBC would equal to the same current, 6.51. We are working in a balance system. So we have the same magnitude. And the angle will be 33.02 minus 120, which is equal to the, the whole angle is equal to minus 86.98. And finally, I C A, same magnitude, but you add to this 120. So 33.02 plus 120. So this is equal to 100. 53.002. Done. So as you can see here, the question become much simpler when you work a single phase. Imagine if I want to work in a three phase configuration and take the KVL in a three phase, that will make the problem much more, much more complicated. And we'll see later on for any type of a problem, for any type of connection, delta or y at the source or at the load, if you follow this strategy, then the problem becomes much, much easier.